<laughs> Over the past few years, as Ruby on Rails has grown in popularity, there have been several big success stories. We've seen websites that allow you to do e-commerce, some that allow you to do social networking, others that allow you to get video on demand, and even some that allow you to stay closer to your family. But unfortunately, there has been some doubt cast, no thanks to these guys, that, well, Rails can't scale. Thanks to the support of New Relic, over the next few weeks, we're going to be releasing a series of screencasts which will show you exactly how to scale Ruby on Rails. And I think what you'll find is that Ruby on Rails scales pretty much just like any other web framework out there, with the exception that we use Ruby to do it. The Ruby programming language allows us to be more productive as programmers, write code that's more understandable, and thus more maintainable, and in my opinion, it's just more fun. As you can see here, we've got a great number of topics to cover, starting with the basics with page caching, and moving all the way to using memcached, and even we're going to get into reverse proxy caching, some advanced stuff. At the very end, we'll be talking to three Ruby on Rails professionals and asking them how they recommend scaling Rails websites, starting out with Taylor Wibley, who works for Engineyard. After we talk to him, we'll be doing a little discussion on database speed, followed by Jesse Newland, who works for Rails Machine, and a discussion on deployment strategies, and finally, we'll be talking to Jim Gochi, who works for New Relic, and we'll be looking at some of the advanced New Relic RPM features and how they allow you to scale your Rails app. I've got two favors to ask of you before we get going. First of all, please take a moment to subscribe to the RSS feed or the iTunes feed so you can get these screencasts as soon as they're released. And secondly, if you've got a Rails app in production right now, I highly recommend that you take the time to install New Relic's RPM service. This will allow you to see where you need to scale your Rails app, so when you learn how to scale, you know where to do it. And lastly, if you're craving additional screencast content, I highly recommend you check out envycast.com. We've got a couple screencasts over there for just 9 bucks, including one on scaling Ruby.